Hello everyone and welcome back to Gage Hill Crafts. I'm Sarah and today I wanted to tell you about a little challenge that I'm setting for myself and hopefully some of you will join me. Um, so this is a spinning project um, and it's for something called the Tour de Fleece. Um, and if you're not familiar with the Tour de Fleece, as the name suggests, um, it corresponds with the Tour de France every year, the big bicycle race. Um, and the Tour de Fleece is uh, aimed at getting uh, people who do hand spinning, either with drop spindles or spinning wheels or e-spinners, um, to set themselves a little challenge goal and to spin every day during the bicycle race. Um, so this all kicks off on Friday, July 7th, 2018, um, and goes for the, uh, the duration of the tournament. Um, I've never participated in the Tour de Fleece. I've known about it for a few years, um, but I've always kind of wanted to, and this year um, really struck me that I hadn't been spinning very much since January, and that's a shame. Um, so I have decided to finish spinning something that I started a while ago. This is just a portion of it. Um, it's this beautiful brown, and it has a little bit of silver in it. Um, yarn. It's from Shetland Sheep from a friend of mine. And um, this rowing has been sitting in my stash way too long. Um, I have spun a little bit of it here and there. I probably have two or three skeins finished, um, but I have a sweater's quantity worth of this fiber. Um, so that's my goal for the Tour de Fleece, the 20, 23 or so days that it runs, is to finish this up and finish plying everything. Um, and have my sweater quantity to go so I can start uh, knitting myself a sweater. Um, and the team that I've decided to join, there are different teams, and um, I will link to the two that I'm going to mention, and there's more on Ravelry that you can join. Um, but the one I'm going to uh, join is called Ackerworks, and they're the company that makes this yarn gauge, which I reviewed on Instagram a little while ago. Um, it's a great tool, and you can probably see um, that it's made out of plastic, but these are 3D printed and they make all kinds of tools, um, mostly tools for spinners, um, some tools for knitters as well. So their, their um, kind of flagship product are these collapsible bobbins. Um, I don't own one to show you, um, but you know how a bobbin has two uh, flat discs on the ends and then it has a spindle or an, an axle in the middle, their bobbins come apart so that they can be flat pack bobbins and be kind of put away more easily when not in use. Um, and those are 3D printed as well. They make bobbins for all different brands of spinning wheels and so um, I'm actually hoping to win uh, an Ackerworks bobbin for my Ladybug, um, Shocked Ladybug wheel, which is the wheel that I have. But they make them for Louette, they make them for uh, Magicraft, they make them for all different brands of spinning wheels, Ashford's. Um, so whatever kind of wheel you have, if you're interested, um, they probably do make a bobbin that will fit that one. And if you're interested in joining the team, the Ackerworks team, it's an open team and they're still accepting people up to the start of the competition um, or the event. So you can sign up this week and join me uh, on the Ackerworks team and they're giving a lot of their products away as um, incentives and kind of door prizes for people who have entered. Um, and there's more details on their, their page about how you can enter to get, um, get your name drawn. So that's one team. Another team that I saw after I'd committed to the Ackerworks team is the Port Fiber team. And um, Casey is the yarn shop owner of Port Fiber up in Portland, Maine. She's got a Tour de Fleece team, and she is, I believe, giving away prizes related to her cashmere people yarns um, and, and possibly some other maybe local fibers or something like that. So she's got a lot of great, great stuff, and she's just a really cool person. So I highly recommend her team as well, um, and I'll link to that in the show notes also. Um, and like I said, there's other teams on Ravelry. Some are open, some you have to maybe join a group, or you have to be committed to a certain kind of fiber. Um, each one's going to have kind of its own niche of guidelines or, or what they're trying to do during the Tour de Fleece. Um, but if you just search on Ravelry, you could probably find either a team that's local to you or that one that, you know, focuses on the 
kind of fiber you like to spin or whatever interest you might have. Um, I'm sure there's ones centered around certain TV shows or other things too. So if you need that Doctor Who uh, team, you, I'm sure you can find it. Um, but I hope you guys will join me. I will post updates on Instagram as I start spinning um, this fiber and let you all know how it's going. And I'll do kind of a report at the end. Um, hold myself accountable to my goals too. So yeah, join us for the Tour de Fleece. Um, sign up even if you've never spun before. You can certainly use a hand spindle. Get started. Maybe this is the, the push that you need. You've always wanted to learn more about spinning and this is a great way um, to sort of for a, a short intense time get going on that project. Or maybe like me, you've got fiber languishing in your stash and you really want to get through it. Uh, whatever, whatever your motivation, it's a good one. And uh, I hope you'll join us. So thanks a lot for watching and check out the show notes for ideas of teams to join and other spinning tips. Um, I'll also put a link to a, a previous video that I did on spinning that has a lot of tips for books and other resources to get started. Um, that's a good one too. So thanks for joining me and happy spinning on the Tour de Fleece. Cheers. <laughs>